Greetings everyone. This is Dr. Satish and in this video, I will give you a short introduction to Unit 37, Virtual Engineering. This is a level 5 unit for PSN Higher National Diploma in Mechanical Engineering. So in this unit, as the title states, we will be studying about simulation and analysis. Simulation means how we will be using a computer and software, analysis softwares like Abacus, SolidWorks and uh, other uh, available softwares to perform loading conditions and understand how the material will behave. In a real time condition, you will be, you have to do a number of tests and to see how the material behaves, how the material fails and what are the understandings you get out of them. But when you use a computer, you can save time, money, also you can do a number of iterations. So these are some of the simple uh, advantages. There are a lot of advantages. What I say are few among them. Like any other unit, this unit is divided into four learning outcomes. In the first learning outcome, you will get introduced to uh, models, 2D and 3D computer models, how to perform, how to use the softwares, and you will also get introduced to standards. For example, BS, British Standard, ASTM, ISO standards, so and so on. In the second learning outcome, you will be studying about completely about finite element analysis. What is finite element analysis? What are uh, the basic equations, one dimensional equations, multi dimensional equations, beam problems? You will be studying about boundary conditions, loading conditions, meshing, and uh, all other things. Okay? Finally, we, uh, in this learning outcome, you will be uh, taking a number of examples and from the examples, how you do the finite element analysis, that you will be looking into it. In learning outcome 3, just like finite element analysis, you will be learning about computational fluid dynamics. Here you will be studying about finite volume method, okay? in new learning outcome 2, finite element method, in learning outcome 3, finite volume method. Okay? So how the meshing and everything is done here and everything you will learn and like in learning outcome 2, you will be given example problems, you will be studying about uh, how a fluid flow happens around an aircraft, around a fluid body, a lot of interesting things in CFD. When it comes to learning outcome 4, just you will be learning about how to, you are done with the analysis, okay? in learning outcome 1, introduction 2 and 3, you are done with the analysis. And in learning outcome 4, you learn about how to interpret the results, how to take the simulation results and what you understand out of them. That is very important. Also, how you present them. Okay? This is what you are going to learn and uh, this will be very interesting unit, very important because this will help you to do better projects, uh, research projects. Okay? Unit 34 is about research project. So, good luck everyone. Let us explore this unit together.